Hi guys, it's me, Boo. And Dad. From Boo and Dad TV. And I just got back from school. Right. And today we're here to review the, our uh, Jawas. Jawas and our Jawa Sandcrawler. Our uh, Jawas collection plus R2-D2. Right. We got this Sandcrawler for Christmas. And he is well, from... Dad did. Yeah, he is a um, uh, Disney.com exclusive or you can buy it at the Disney Parks. And also, we're going to reviewing a new draw to add to our collection. Right, he's from the Black Series and he is off-world Jawa, so he'll be a little different from the other Jawas that we're yeah, going to show. Yeah, but now that's for later. Right, so now we're going to start with the Jawas. Well, there's our, basically this is the current leader of our Jawas, the biggest one. Yes, he is from... And we'll show, it'll show you why how he actually is bigger. See? He's the Black Series Jawa uh, from the 6-inch line. As you tell, he is much bigger uh, than these, which are from the 3.75-inch line. Um, but we'll start with him. Boo, you want to go over his points of articulation? I'll slide these aside while you're doing that. Can, can you hold up here so they can see? There you go. Three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so Boo came up with 16 points of articulation on this Black Series Jawa. Uh, he's got he's got a lot of details. You can see his shoes. Um, kind of got some weird stuff going on in his legs up there. Now he's all uh, plastic and vinyl. There's no cloth on this figure, uh, but it's got his cool uh, kind of like uh, vest holster thing here. He comes with a blaster and a zapper. That's kind of like the droid zapper that he uses when he or a stunner when he stuns the droids. And of course, here's a shot from the back. You can see his holster with the blaster in it. He is a really cool figure. Uh, the head turns. Maybe he's got something else he's going to put in his hand here. But yeah, his head turns back and forth. His legs do move. And that's a little, little hard with his vinyl um, with his robe. plastic. It always reminds me of those whiz robes. A whiz robe from He-Man. But Yeah. And but plastic the detailing is really cool. It's got all the little wrinkles in all the right spots where you would think they would be. Even some like, uh, looks like a sand kind of uh, whitewash finish on the bottom. He's a really great character. I think he is awesome. What do you give him, Boo? Um, I give him a nine. A nine, right. And even though he is not designed to play with our, our Jawa playset, uh, he still fits in most of the sections pretty good. Yeah, because he's actually also works well because he's bigger, so that means he's the leader. We he's the boss, the boss in charge. Yes. But we might have a new boss in charge. Oh, yeah, when we get to doing the off-world Jala, that's yeah. also from the Black Series 6-inch set. Yeah. All right, we'll set him aside for now after reviewing him. We like him, think he's a great figure, and I think we, I think actually we picked him up on Amazon for around 13 bucks. so that's a pretty good deal if you can still find it. And there's the Jala. Next up. We um, have basically the little Jalas. Yeah, and we got a super good deal on him, too. He's from the 3.75-inch figure. Uh, I got him at Walmart for Walmart.com for, like, $6. some reason, they had him marked down. So we took it. Um, he comes. He's got articulation, his head, his elbows, um, and that's about it. The feet are standard. He's built a lot like the, the Black Series one. He's got all vinyl suit. His two holster gears. He comes with his, uh, it looks like his stunner here. Um, and I think he may have had a blaster for his hand. Do we still have that? Do we have a blaster for the hand? If I um, had the one for that. Hmm? Yeah, could have been. No, wait, he has he has a blaster right there. Yeah, that might have been the only one he came with. But yeah, 3.75 inch vintage collection Jawa. He is pretty great. We like him a lot. And of course, he's perfect for our sand crawler. All right, next up, um, we have... R2-D2. That, that, that was the exact same as that. <clears throat> this is, of course, from the Vintage Collection also. He is uh, 
He's had turns. He's got and the third leg. And also, this one is included. No, he does not come with this set at all. No, he decided to just... He was dead there, so I might as well review it. But you gotta have droids in the set, so... Yeah, so there's R2, and of course, I really like him because he's, he's dirty R2. Filthy. Looks like he just came out of an X-Wing. That's pretty much what we use him for. Yeah. But I want to show you this, because this does come with... Uh, they're both Actually, the exact same. Oh, we are missing one. What? There's the one that come with the set. Remember, it's really terrible. Check our Star Wars bag. See if you can find him. I want to show you the one that come with the set. He's really terrible. Uh, you're not going to like it. But we want to show him off anyway. While we're waiting, though, I'll go ahead and start going over some of the features for the sand crawler. Uh, this was about $100. We got a 20% off. Um coupon Christmas sale thing from the Disney uh, DisneyStore.com so we picked him up for around 80 yeah, plus price I can find him okay here he is <laughs> alright sorry before we go into that further this is the Jawa that comes with this sand crawler set I don't know who makes it this is not a Hasbro thing so this is not a Hasbro Jawa it's pretty terrible he's pretty much just a statue you got a little articulation in his shoulders um and his hands. And his hands? Yeah, they spin. His legs do not move. Yeah. And his head doesn't even move. Yeah, very little articulation. And he feels like a statue. I mean, he's really just a hard piece of plastic. Um, yeah, he almost feels hollow, right? Show him off there. Now look. Now you can see how, how he's just made out of plastic just by the sound. Right. Well, I'll get this travel figure out of here. And I don't think he came with any accessories either. I was going to show you the bottom. They didn't even bother to build legs. He just yeah. got a couple of feet and uh, but basically just glued a blob <laughs> you know, on the bottom. Basically, they just put uh, basically. He did have a holster for his his blaster. He does have that, but that's about it. Yeah, but this one isn't this. Look, it only this one doesn't. This you can is, compare the two. Well, actually, let's side get, by side. And also, That'd be his Hasbro equivalent. And also, um, and there's one big detail that I noticed. Do you guys see the big detail? Mm, well, this one's got different colors. Yeah, it's all the same color. Yeah, he's, uh, well, actually, the big difference, actually, the browns on the clo cloak are different. Yes, very true. This is more orangey brown. This right. one's, like, dark brown. Good yes. Yeah figure out of here. Right. So. Now let's do the review on our new job. Alright. We'll pass that to Boo. He can show you the box art. Now this is a different one because this is, what is it? Off-world Jawa. Not to be confused with on-world Jawa. And I think these aren't going to be different. Oops. Sorry about that. So Boo, Let's go ahead and get the box open. Well, actually, okay. show them both all sides of the box because this is a black series. Here 96. Is the front of the box. There is the side of the box that says Off World Jawa in red. That's the other side. It says 96 as his number. And this time it says Off World Jawa in black. Then we come to the back, which will give you a couple seconds in case you want to pause the video and read it. Uh, would you just go ahead and read them the synapses there, please? Yeah. Just in case I wanted to read the whole thing. Ships tra traveling to and, f and from Tatooine, Tatooine. Tatooine have resulted in some Jawas leaving their desert home world. Those that do arrive on their new on new planets continue their old habits and their new surroundings, but their obsessive need for Technology still drives them. Yes, they are obsessed by technology. Watch your droids. They will steal them all. And your ships. What happened to Mando, didn't it? Remember? They stripped his ship. Yeah, stop spoiling it. Oh, sorry. I just figured everybody already seen it by now. Really? You don't know <laughs> that. You just figure. That doesn't mean everyone's watched it. Alright. Stop spoiling all the movies. Well, if you haven't seen The Mandalorian yet... Um, stop this video, go watch it, and come back, because there could be spoilers. Uh, no, Dad will not give any spoilers. <laughs> Alright, I'll try my best. Mm. Y'all got that open, dude? Mm. 
Yeah, they're gonna need the scissors. Okay, coming up. Uh, this second piece of plot tape will not come off. Oh no! I'm going to have to destroy it. Snip. Got it. Now time to get him out of the box. Oh, here he comes. And there's the backdrop. It's just plain red. Right. Got the little in the back there. This is my favorite color, by the way. And we found we didn't get a sweet deal on the on these. We found them at Walmart for nineteen ninety nine each. But for our Walmarts, that's a pretty unusual find. Um, they don't tend to have a lot of stuff, at least cool stuff. And we're trying to build up our our Java collection because of our sand color here. So we went ahead and actually got what they had two. Did we get both of them? Yeah. Yeah, we got both of them. Um, so you're gonna have to you're gonna see the other one already. Right? So I think we'll be up to six Jawas now. Yeah. Yeah, six Jawas. This is the fifth Jawa. We really like Jawas. So we do it while we are. Guys, comment down below if you think we might make it to a million Jawas. <laughs> a million Jawas? What? Maybe. Basically, if we basically see a Jawa in store, we will get it. Right? <laughs> um, yes, it's, it's quite possible we may pick it up. Especially if it's at least a little bit different. Yeah, which we already failed. <laughs> or until our sand crawlers completely full up and can't haul any more drawers. Yeah, but then we'll have to buy it. we can buy a whole new one. <laughs> Alright, baby, get it up here. These folks are wanting to see what this looks like. Alright, I'm trying to put the this thing in the sand. There you go, finally. Can they right. even show the accessory? Drum roll, dun 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 dun. Yep, he also comes with a nice zapper. Kind of uh, worn looking, which is really, really cool. Weathered a bit, I guess you'd say. And then, here he is. Let's get him a little closer. Alright, so definitely between him and our regular Black Series Jawa, uh, biggest difference you can see right off the bat is he actually comes with a cloth uh, Jawa suit. Now, his head is still vinyl. His the color is a little bit different. He's more of a brown. Let's get the other. The let's get the Jawas back over yeah, here. Yeah, let's give you a shot at the back. He's got a nice holster there. And by the way, guys, you are seeing. Goes this. around the front with lots of pockets. And guys, you actually are seeing this, right? We are. The bodysuit is cloth. Yeah. Now he also has. I've noticed he also has. You pull up his cloth. Yeah, he has his, suit his here. undersuit. Yep, he's got an undersuit on, and he also has elbows. So he's got articulation there, and in his feet, and his knees. So like this, the other one, like I said, is is his uh, his robe is so stiff you can't get to his knees, but this one is not. So they definitely gave him articulation in his knees, and his ankles. Yeah. This is a pretty cool figure. So this I like is. It. I hope they do mo more Jawas like like this but there's one still one more improvement that it can do what are you thinking babe they can even they they just need to make the hood cloth too oh you would prefer that, that? I think that would actually be the best java figure ever yeah that would be pretty awesome so let's put him up here against with the black series oh. on world java and then we have black series off world java which actually i immediately noticed that they are well, they are different colors of brown, again. Right. Very good. I think the holsters are identical. They all look the same. But still, two really nice figures. I, I like both of them. Yeah. What do you think, Boop? Yeah, now it's time for the question of the video. Okay. Who is the leader of the Jawas? Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. Guys, comment down below. Who, Who should be our leader? Yeah, the Jawas. <laughs> On-world Jawa or off-world Jawa? Right, we need to know. But now, let's get to our Sandcrawler review. I think we've got all the Jawas out of the way here. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start off with the outside. This thing has a lot of features. I'm going to scoot back here so you can wow. have to lift it up. Ah. So you can actually see the tread. Well, um, I can't even see me. Yeah, we barely see Boo. The tread does not move instead of... Uh, it actually moving. You actually have uh, eight individual wheels, two on each tread. That makes it move. There's also a sound sensor in one of those. Move will figure out which one it is here. 
Uh, the War of the Wills. So we'll show that in a second. Hang on, see it here? Uh, press the wheels. There it is. Press that other button there. Okay. Now, press the wheels. Let's find the sound sensor. All right. Could be one of these down here. Okay. I'm not getting much help from Boob. Okay. Move one of the wheels. One of them makes the sound. Okay. Keep going. Not those. Nope. Nope. Other side. Nope. Oh, there it is. That one right there. That makes it sound like uh, he's moving. And of course, when you play with him, he goes off, and it's got the cool sound of him moving down through the set. Through and the then set. you can put, like, the leader of the Joes. We'll put our current leader of the Joes. This one. Well, let's turn it over so I can see in the cockpit, and then we'll put him in so he doesn't fall out. All right, so I'm going to flip him back over this way this time. Let you guys see down in the cockpit area. It'll hold... You know, a couple of the, um, yeah, of the 3.75 inch, maybe just one of the, so let's, the leader drawers. Well, let's see how many, let's see how many little drawers it can hold. All right. How many pilots do we have? We can have three. Three of the 3.75 inch pilots. Nice. And I will take them out to see if. Can fit in here. Yeah. No, the leader is too tall. So for this one, you would definitely want your 3.75 style. Really want this guy in the bathroom so he can drive. Yeah, he come with it. So we we'll leave him as the pilot for sure. So now this thing has lots of lights on it. We're kind of kind of right, in the guys, daylight here, someone, so I don't know if you're going to see. Right yeah, I'm going to go ahead. Now you have on the back, we've got eight buttons. They make different noises. Boo's going to go through them. And it also causes some of the lights to be activated. Let's start from this side, Boo, because we don't confuse. Oh, wait, let's do the same. That would give to the sound of the drivers. That gives you more of the sound of the, the, uh, them working on the droids. More droid sounds. This is very cool. This one I think activates the lights. It does. See the lights coming on in the front? Yeah. So this light here doesn't make a sound, but it does activate the lights up front, which is pretty cool. What about this one? Give it a press. That makes the draw the sounds. Very cool. And the droid sounds. So they really thought of a lot of options um, with this one, which I really, really like. Yeah, we should get into the... Uh, so I'll turn this way so they can see it. Well, first, let's show them the little... So here's this side. Ooh, it also has a working elevator. Okay. Which we're going to put one of the Jawas on there now. Give you a... I think I'll just take like, the little lift this so they can see. We'll close this back up. Lift him up. All right, and Boo will activate the elevator. Hi. Now he's ready to exit or go back in. Or play, or, or play peekaboo. Very cool option. I just love this thing. And now we're going to turn around on the other side and we'll show you the interior. Hopefully you can see that a little bit. Um, there you can see in the back side is the jaw we just, we just put over the elevator. Uh, open up the front boot. The yeah, back. So you can see. Okay, see if this helps. Who's going to try to put a little more light on this situation here? Okay. Maybe you guys can see it. There we go. Much better. So I'll turn it this way. You guys can see it right back here. There's a little fireplace. Like power motor, it actually lights up. I'm gonna turn it on. You can see it lighting up there. And actually, we gotta show them one more feature. Let's see how it's shining. Yeah, if you look up here, there's an area where the jawless can stand. Let's put one up there. Shine the light in there, boom, so I can see. Okay, so we can get it in there. So the jawless can hang out right up there. Then we'll turn it this way so we can see the more towards the front. 
other walker. Alright, dude. And then over here, there's kind of like a little area where they can work on the droids. And then you can drop the front of it here. Yeah, this part up is, and then this part slides, and then it's a different part. Because I think we should review. Now, yeah, he comes with it. Well, let's review it now. All right. Do go ahead and talk about him. Here's the droid that comes with the set. That was not this whole thing. He's Hopefully. the box droid. Um... Not, not a whole lot special about him. I mean, he's cool looking. I like the way these look. And we did not have one, so I'm glad to get him. He comes with the playset with the really bad Jawa. Um, but he also has a little crane here. action where he puts on his head and you can move him into it. His feet do move, so you kind of walk around. Oh, 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 oh. Now, Boog will show you how the crane works here next. <laughs> right. All right. <laughs> All right, did you do the crane demonstration? Yeah, I did. Try it again, we couldn't see it. What do you mean you didn't see it? I showed them. So see, it comes all the way out. Yeah, all the way in. And all the way in. Very cool. So lots of fun ways. All right, just kind of snaps into place. Lots of fun ways to play uh, with this sand crawler. It looks really, really cool. Probably can't tell in the video, but it does have a lot of good details all over it. It looks like it's got sand and, of course, weathering. Uh, I'm going to show them the top here, Boog. So watch him out. Ah! The of the top, the engines, little mechanical area here. And then if you look at the back, you can definitely see the engines. <laughs> And Boog, yeah. you can show them those buttons we were pressing so they kind of know where we were getting those sound effects from. Um, this button. Lights. Oh, no, sorry. This Jawa sound. sound. This button. Does that? I think that's like a crane working. Jaws. <laughs> Definitely jealous. Also sounds like minions. That makes you laugh. That sounds like minions. It sounds like Boog when he's brushing his teeth. Yeah, it also <laughs> sounds like minions. Yeah, it does sound like minions. Right. Uh, this, I agree. This one's the lights. And the lights. All right. Oh, and I actually hit the button for the elevator. It is now coming down. And then going up. Right. As we demonstrated earlier, so Dad, I think it's time to end this video. All in all, though, I have to say, um, out of 10 stars, I give this Jawa Sandcrawler an 8. Um, and honestly, when I first saw it, we saw it at the, at the, at the Disney parks. Um, it's in a kind of a bland looking blue package and really didn't, wasn't too impressed by it looking at it in the in the package but um because it doesn't really tell you about all the, the cool features that it has i really just thought it was going to be a, a plastic um just a big piece of plastic that didn't even roll uh so i wasn't too interested in it but then i watched a youtube video on it and they showed off all the cool features uh and i i, I realized this was something that we needed to have so like I said, we picked it up from the Disney.com with a 20% off sale for 80 bucks. I think that's a good deal for all the features it has, with the sound effects, working elevator, um, all the little things they added. Like I said, it's perfect for our collection, right, dude? Because we did not have a sand crawler at all. Yeah. So this is great. So Dad, I think we should get all our new draw collection. Put everybody on top with R2? Yeah, R2 too. Alright, then we'll sign out. Boog, what do you rate this place at? A 10. A 10? Yeah, There's the other ones. Um, one's in here. Oh, I think they're all inside now. There's the driver. Yeah, did you put them all inside? Uh, maybe. Oh, here's this one. So the one more went on that side. And here comes Blooper. Blooper? I think here's the terrible one. Yeah, we're missing one more short guy. In there somewhere? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, I put him on the shelf. That's right. All right, so. So, guys, that's the end of this video. Make sure you subscribe to Booga Dad TV for more awesome Star Wars and more fun. Bye! Bye bye!